The development of the Karachaganak oil and gas condensate field, one of the largest fields in the world, started in 1984. The project's history is inseparably linked to the story of the independence of Kazakhstan. The early 90s were difficult times. The USSR collapsed and the economy was in decline. The approach to work had to drastically change by ways of modernizing production processes, adopting new technologies and best international practices. Those years shaped national, multifaceted foreign policies. At the time, the first president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, made the decision to open doors to foreign investments. This helped overcome the economic downturn. Development of such a technologically challenging field as Karachaganak required support of world-class companies. The first thing to do, however, was to create favourable conditions for investors with due consideration for the national interest. The final production sharing agreement was signed in 1997. This document governed the relations between the consortium of Karachaganak investors and the Republic. Kazakhstan became known all over the world as a petroleum-rich country, while the unprecedented scale of activities at the Karachaganak field made it a huge construction site. Today, the development of the Karachaganak field is closely connected with successful implementation of best practices of the Karachaganak partners, including ENI, Royal Dutch Shell, Chevron, Lukoil, and national company Kazmanai Gas. They joined to set up the Karachaganak Petroleum Operated BV Consortium. The energy industry is one of the building blocks for achieving strategic goals in Kazakhstan. Over the period of independence, we have made it to the list of top 15 countries with the largest proven oil reserves and the top 20 countries with the largest gas reserves. Today, Karachaganak is one of the leaders in the country in terms of production volumes and performance. The Karachaganak project has been continuously providing significant economic benefit. This is not only about developing domestic business, also KPO projects contribute to transfer of technologies, training and development of personnel and upgrading of regional infrastructure. The Karachaganak field is technically complex due to its challenging environment and hydrogen sulphide that is present in the hydrocarbons being produced. Therefore, the highest quality materials are used. Thorough monitoring and inspection are conducted throughout all production cycle. The field has truly become a research and development center for the application of the most advanced technologies. For instance, one of the innovations being applied is the high pressure gas reinjection system. This technology is used to inject gas back into the reservoir. As a result, flaring accounts for only 0.1% of the total production. A significant reduction was achieved in air emissions the environmental impact is constantly being diminished. In KPO, we use state-of-the-art technologies to achieve our production target. In cooperation with WQ Akimat and the PSA Authority, we work to generate stable revenues for the national and the regional budget. A close relationship with ROK authorities guarantees that KPO's long-term plans match with the national agenda. This is the key to the development of the Karajaganak field and the fast growth of the national economy. To date, the Karajaganak partners have invested more than $27 billion into the field development. Emphasis is being placed on waste management and embracing green technologies to reduce pollutant emissions. KPO embeds a sustainability concept and incorporates social responsibility principles in all aspects of the activities. Despite the current challenges due to the pandemic, the Karajaganak keeps thousands of jobs, providing support to a huge number of families living in and outside the West Kazakhstan Oblast. KPO maintains also stability operating in this new environment. We have achieved record performance in our annual oil production, in the gas injection and the cumulative gas production. Last year, KPO achieved a gas utilization rate of 99.92%, which is also a world-class achievement. KPO places a special emphasis on safety of personnel and integrity of process equipment. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, the company completed all planned activities in due time, safely and within the lowest cost. 
One of the recent key milestones was the sanctioning of the Karachaganak expansion project and the successful delivery of the Karachaganak gas debottlenecking project. The Karachaganak gas debottlenecking project is an important milestone in the development of the Karachaganak field. The project stands out in the industry for its impressive safety performance and cost effectiveness. In such challenging times, we're able to complete the project ahead of schedule. The new capacity will sustain the critical liquids plateau extension projects. These are the fourth injection compressor project and the fifth injection compressor project that will enable us to enhance production and generate additional revenue for the Republic of Kazakhstan and KPO shareholders. In addition, the project will attract additional investment, helping to increase local content in the procurement of goods, works and services. Back in 2001, KPO successfully introduced one of the first local content development programs in the country. Domestic and international services and engineering companies joined efforts as part of this program. The Republic of Kazakhstan is keenly interested in the effective development of the Karachiganak project. The project generates revenue for national budget by way of mandatory duties and taxes. As of today, more than $90 billion have been paid into the ROK budget via taxes and share of profit generated from sales. Relations between international companies and local manufacturers have been established. Mutual integration has been achieved. Joint ventures are set up, helping Kazakh companies develop and acquire modern technologies. New consideration for the future project is given, and local suppliers are able to get themselves prepared for the upcoming activities beforehand. Today, local content in KPO project has reached 59%. The procurement structure has drastically changed with transition from low-value products to more sophisticated and high-tech materials and equipment. I believe that this is substantial contribution to strengthening the economy of independent Kazakhstan. Such effective partnerships was highly appreciated by the authorities and industry associations. KPO has received an award as a reliable partner and an award from the Ministry of Investment and Development of Kazakhstan for investment activities in relation to local content development. The 30th anniversary of independence is an important milestone to the KPO team. KPO priorities include improving operational efficiency, development of local personnel, improving the competitive ability of Kazakh companies, promoting digitalization, fostering health and safety for KPO employees and contractors, environmental protection, and of course, participating in the social life of the region. Over the years of independence, Kazakhstan has made itself known all over the world, and we are proud of our contribution to this. A strong commitment to social responsibility and careful attitude was demonstrated by KPO at the time of the pandemic. The company purchased lung ventilators, protective equipment and medicines for regional hospitals. An overhaul of municipal polyclinic number no. 7 in Uralsk was completed in July 2020. The facility was equipped with 146 beds for patients with infectious diseases. In addition, the Aksai Hospital Upgrade Project has been completed. The project included the construction of a diagnostic department for the intensive care unit and a computer tomography unit. Over the past two decades, dozens of new schools, hospitals, kindergartens, stadiums, ice palaces, swimming pools and tennis courts, as well as housing and utilities were constructed in the West Kazakhstan Oblast, thanks to KPO investment. In addition, pursuant to the address of the Head of State on the Development of Mass Sports and Health, the construction of a number of sports and health centres was launched in the WKO district centres. Arousk has received a new look thanks to KPO social infrastructure investments. The city now has some picturesque architectural sites, including the drama theatre named after Astrovsky, a multifunctional cultural palace, a regional philharmonica, a ceremony house, an arts house named after Kadamoza Ali, a palace of youth and school children improvements of the right bank of Municipal Park and the Kazakh Drama Theatre, which was the first theatre built in independent Kazakhstan and inaugurated by the first president of Kazakhstan during the opening ceremony. Construction of other social facilities is underway in the region, including the Uralsk International Airport and multi-storied apartment blocks. This will support prosperity, improving the quality and living standards of the local community. 
Also, by the start of the new school season in 2020, the company commissioned the Aesthetic School Gymnasium for 500 students in Uralsk, thus providing essential social infrastructure for the residents of the fast-developing micro-region Zoldas. KPO has received recognition for its contribution towards the development of the region's social infrastructure. In 2006, KPO was awarded the Golden Prometheus Award. In 2008 and 2009, the company received the Paris Award for its implementation of social projects. In 2010, the first president of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, gave KPO the Golden Paris Award in the best social project category. In 2013, KPO received the Silver Paris Award for construction of a school for 1,200 pupils in Uralsk. The company places a great emphasis on environmental issues. KPO annually develops and implements environmental action plans, ensuring that the company's operations are conducted in an environmentally friendly way. To date, the company has invested more than $437 million in environmental activities. KPO established and maintains a robust and safe waste management system and has a unique eco center that is fully compliant with international standards. The Eco Center helps process a significant portion of the waste generated in KPO and thereby considerably reduces any adverse environmental impacts. Starting from 2017 onwards, with the support of the WKO Akimat and relevant ROK ministries, KPO has been arranging the International Urals Green Forum, promoting an open dialogue between the business community and the authorities in relation to environmental protection energy savings and energy efficiency enhancements. In 2019, KPO was ranked the second most transparent petroleum company in Kazakhstan in relation to environmental responsibility. Upon the outcomes of the Green Office National Contest, KPO was awarded an honorary diploma as part of the International Initiative of Kazakhstan relating to cooperation amongst countries with respect to the green economy. KPO was awarded a special note recommended by partnership program Greenbridge. As the ROK president, Kasim Jomar Tokayev said, the 30th anniversary of the country's independence is a landmark where one can reflect on what has been done. This historical event should be celebrated by doing good work and undertaking new projects. The Karachagnak Petroleum Operated BV team completely agrees with this opinion. The Grand Prix Paris Award goes to Karachaganak Petroleum Operating BV from Western Kazakhstan Oblast. The award is received by KPO General Director Jean-Carlo Ruyu. The total KPO investments to social development is $427 million. Each year, $20 million is allocated towards social infrastructure projects. The 30-year anniversary of Kazakhstan independence is an important milestone. In a big journey that our company is making along with the Republic of Kazakhstan. KPU achievement as the result of a favorable investment climate created in the independent Kazakhstan. Team is striving to achieve new heights by way of constructive cooperation with the Republic and caring about the prosperity of future generations.